Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks that I learned from a professional Fortnite coach and from personal experience to help you guys win the Fortnite Solos Cash Cup. Before I start the video, I will have the timestamps on screen for those of you that want to skip to any certain part of the video. Also, if you guys do think the tips will help you out, do me a huge favor by like and subscribing as it does help out the channel a ton. The first thing we are going to be talking about is mentality. When playing in these Fortnite cash cups, it's very important not to get tilted just by, you know, dying off spawn. So, for instance, if you guys play your first two games and you die off spawn both times and get frustrated, don't just keep playing your games. It's literally the worst thing you can do or else you're going to keep getting mad and the rest of your games will go just as bad. Trust me, I've known this for personal, from personal experience. This has happened to me many times, not just in Fortnite but in a lot of other games and it happens to a lot of pro players too so instead of just keep you know playing your games instead just take a five minute break go outside get a drink of water you know just do something so that you can just quickly reset and you can get back to that good mentality you had when you first started playing you know your first game and you know just you need to always think in your head that okay i can do this and i'm gonna win you know that's that's another big thing um, another thing that can help you guys with your mentality is realizing the mistakes you make and trying to fix them, you know, not just blaming it on other people or making up every single excuse, but to blame yourself. So like if you're fighting somebody and you die, you know, you just, you, you, I know most people do this. You guys sit there and you're like, oh, I had bad ping. Oh, my screen froze. Oh, wow. He has better ping than me. You know, these are all, you know, valid, you know, the only valid, valid one that I would say right there is the ping. If they have zero ping, then I mean they have a pretty big advantage from that. But other than that, you guys need to realize and you need to identify the mistakes you're making and just fix them. And doing that yourself will honestly improve your gameplay the biggest way possible. And I'm not kidding, guys. So just do that. And that's a, a big thing that will help you guys. The first thing that will help you guys in these cash cups. Now, the next thing we are going to be talking about is early game and mid game rotations. Now, generally, what most people struggle with in these cash cups is rotations. When rotating early game, you usually want to rotate as early as you can. So basically, right when the timer runs out and you see the new zone, you want to get there as quickly as you can and build a one by one or two by two base out of brick or metal. In the middle of rotating, you usually want to use wood, but if you guys are going to base up, you always want to use brick or metal because it's stronger. Now, when you do base up, you want to put some pyramids in there too for better protection. So if somebody tries to cycle you or W key you and fight and take your wall, they can't usually do the you know wall replace there in your box or the wall replace pyramid because there's already a pyramid in the box. Now, when rotating early game, you need to make sure you don't pick a high density area. So that when you can rotate mid game, you don't get shot at from every single angle and you don't have the whole lobby shooting at you. And it makes it a lot easy, easier so you can make it to end game. We will talk more about high density, low density and medium density areas here in just a second. Another thing about rotating mid game is a lot of people seem to think that rotating when zone is moving is best, but it's not. Because then the people that rotate are early and are sitting inside zone you know just chilling they're all gonna start spamming you until you die and every single body else is gonna target you as well so even in mid game phase you want to rotate as early as possible even in late game phase as well this is the another big thing that will help you guys win and get uh, better placements in your cash cups now that you guys know how to rotate let me explain to you what high density low density and medium density zones are now, as you guys can see, the gameplay that I'm showing here, I'm going to be showing you uh, what is, I'm pretty sure is fourth circle or fifth circle. <clears throat> and as you can see right now, I am in a low end density area because uh, where I am, because of where I am in the circle. If you guys look at the map, you will see little quadrants, like little uh, squares that are on the map, you know, so you can... Uh, so you can see like the A1, A2 and things like that. Just those little squares. You can see in the map that that little quadrant that I'm in, that would be a low density area because right now there aren't any big POIs behind me that people can come from. So that means that when people are rotating in from that area, there's not going to be a lot of people rotating. So that means it's a low density area. So that means I'm not going to, you know, like I just said, I'm not going to see very many people and I can chill there and it's a pretty good spot. And most likely... If it's moving zone half circle, 
those areas will most likely fall on low density areas on the map most of the time not 100 percent, but most of the time so a medium density area would be pretty much uh to my let me see is that my right medium density would be the quadrant to my right uh where it says reels that little small quadrant uh right there on the corner that would be medium density because there's still not that many people over there. There, there could be some people that could, that rotate from risky reels. That's why it would be medium density. So from there, uh, a lot of people would come in, and that's why that would be considered the medium density. Now for high density would be where the friend, where the uh, frenzy places and the uh, the quadrant on my right too. Um, so those areas right there are high density because there's a lot of POIs in that direction that a lot of people can move in from. So you would you would not want to be on the edge of the circle or on that side because you would see so many people coming and that would just be a bad rotation. And imagine if the circle is over there that way, those people are going to be literally sitting there and just waiting for you so that they can shoot you. And it's pretty much just going to be game over. So that right there is the difference between high density, low density and medium density areas if you guys focus on these three things in your cash cups you will place a lot better and you will be most likely able to win money or get closer to even winning money by each time you will get better so you guys will learn things as you go or learn your own little tricks and tips for yourself but this is just what i think will help you guys most now if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to hit that like button subscribe as it does to help out the channel a ton and let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want me to do also, don't forget to turn on that bell to get notifications for whenever I do upload because I upload tips and tricks. So, as always, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.